Hello, and welcome to Langmaster Learning System. I'm Amanda. Today, I will read you a popular fairy tale about a girl who finds true love thanks to her fairy godmother. Cinderella by the Brothers Grimm. Once upon a time, there was a very beautiful and kind girl who had lost both her parents and was left with her stepmother. This woman had two very ugly daughters, but their mother spoiled them and always made the orphaned girl do all the difficult housework. Because of this, she found herself often kneeling on the floor, covered in dirt and ashes, exhausted and with her clothes torn to rags. Since she was always dirty from ash and cinders, the townspeople called her Cinderella. In her tiny room in the attic, Cinderella treasured the beautiful dreams of a better life she had while she slept. A dream is a wish your heart makes while you're fast asleep, she explained to her only friends, the mice who lived in the attic with her. One day, the prince announced a grand ball and invited all young women who would like to marry him so that he could choose the most beautiful and make her his princess. The stepmother prepared her two daughters with the best ball gowns and made them up so that they would be pretty. But she prohibited Cinderella from attending the ball. She ordered her to stay at home, mopping the floor and preparing dinner so that it would be ready when the three of them returned home. Cinderella obeyed, but as she watched her stepsisters leave for the ball at the royal palace, she couldn't help but feel miserable and began to cry. Suddenly, her fairy godmother appeared, telling her she didn't have to worry. She would be able to go to the ball too, but with one condition. She must return home before the palace clock struck midnight. Cinderella looked down at the rags she was wearing. I can't go to the ball wearing this, she cried. The fairy godmother waved her magic wand and said the magic words, Bibbidi Boppity Boo, and transformed Cinderella's ragged clothes into a beautiful ball gown with a pair of glass slippers on her feet. She was exquisitely beautiful. But how will I get to the royal palace? Cinderella asked. Her fairy godmother waved her magic wand again and turned a pumpkin into a beautiful golden carriage and turned four white mice into horses to pull the carriage. Cinderella climbed into the carriage and left for the palace. As the carriage rolled away, her fairy godmother shouted a reminder. Don't forget! You must return before the clock strikes 12. When Cinderella arrived and entered the ballroom, everyone gazed at her in awe. The prince, seeing her incredible beauty, approached her and danced the whole night with her. Nobody recognized her, not even her stepsisters. It was just like her most beautiful dreams. Suddenly, the palace clock rang out. It was midnight already. Cinderella dashed across the room as her ball gown began to transform back into rags. And she ran so fast that she lost one of her glass slippers on the palace stairs. 
The prince found the slipper and kept it, intent on finding the mysterious young woman again. The next day, the prince announced that he would marry whoever fit into the glass slipper. All of his heralds searched the kingdom for the woman to whom the shoe belonged. Finally, they arrived at the house of Cinderella's stepmother. Her first stepsister's feet would not fit into the shoe, and the second stepsister couldn't fit either. When the herald asked if there were any other young women in the house, the stepsisters laughed and said, only Cinderella, the girl who is covered in soot and ash. But when Cinderella arrived, they saw that her foot fit perfectly in the glass slipper. The stepsisters were furious. The prince was overjoyed and decided to marry Cinderella. They had a beautiful wedding at the palace and lived happily ever after. I hope you enjoyed our lesson today. If you want to sign up for courses at Langmaster, click on the link below. I hope to hear from you soon. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. I'm Amanda, and this is Langmaster Learning System.